Astronaut Sunita Williams embarked on her latest mission with excitement and anticipation. She had trained rigorously for months, preparing herself mentally and physically for the challenges that lay ahead. Her destination, the International Space Station, a marvel of engineering orbiting our planet. This floating laboratory has been a hub of scientific research and international cooperation for decades. Williams, a seasoned astronaut with multiple missions under her belt, was eager to contribute to the ongoing research and exploration aboard the ISS. Her experience and expertise made her an invaluable member of the crew. Her mission promised groundbreaking discoveries and a chance to push the boundaries of human knowledge. From studying the effects of microgravity on the human body to testing new technologies, the work being done on the ISS has far-reaching implications. Little did she know, however, that her journey would take an unexpected turn, extending her stay in space far beyond the initial plan. The vastness of space with its unpredictable nature often throws curveballs at even the most meticulously planned missions. Williams, along with her colleague Butch Wilmore, was scheduled to return to Earth in 2024 aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft. This mission was highly anticipated as it marked a new era in space travel. The Starliner, a new addition to NASA's fleet, represented a leap forward in space transportation technology. It was designed to provide a reliable and safe means of transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. Its successful deployment would mark a significant milestone for Boeing and for the future of American spaceflight. The excitement surrounding this mission was palpable, with many hoping it would pave the way for future explorations. However, fate, it seemed, had other plans. The universe, with its vast and unpredictable nature, often has a way of reminding us of our limitations. As the months passed and Williams diligently carried out her duties aboard the ISS, news from Earth brought unexpected complications. The challenges of space travel are not just limited to the cosmos, but also to the technology that supports it. Boeing, NASA announced, was experiencing technical difficulties with the Starliner program. These issues were not just minor glitches, but significant enough to warrant a thorough investigation. The spacecraft intended to ferry astronauts safely to and from the ISS was grounded due to unresolved safety concerns. The safety of the crew is always the top priority and any potential risks must be addressed. Williams's return to Earth, along with Wilmore's, was thrown into uncertainty. The delay meant more time away from their loved ones and more time in the challenging environment of space. The delay, while disappointing, was a stark reminder of the inherent risks associated with space travel. Every mission carries its own set of challenges and adaptability is key. In this unforgiving environment, even the smallest technical glitch can have cascading consequences. The complexity of space missions means that every detail must be meticulously checked and rechecked. For Sunita Williams, it meant an extended stay aboard the ISS, far from family and friends, her return date hanging in the balance. Despite the challenges, her dedication to the mission and her resilience in the face of uncertainty remained unwavering. The news of the Starliner's technical issues sent ripples of concern throughout NASA and the aerospace community. The anticipation and excitement that had built up around the mission quickly turned into a wave of anxiety and uncertainty. Boeing, a giant in the industry, was facing unexpected hurdles in its quest to provide safe and reliable crew transportation to space. The company, known for its engineering prowess and innovation, was now grappling with challenges that threatened to derail its ambitious plans. The Starliner, once hailed as a symbol of American ingenuity, was now under intense scrutiny, its future uncertain. The spacecraft, which had been designed to usher in a new era of space travel, was now at the center of a storm of technical difficulties. The problems, it turned out, were not minor. They were complex and multifaceted, requiring a thorough investigation and a meticulous approach to resolve. Engineers had discovered a series of issues during pre-flight tests, issues that raised serious questions about the spacecraft's ability to safely transport humans to and from orbit. These tests, designed to ensure the highest standards of safety, revealed vulnerabilities that could not be overlooked. These issues primarily centered around the Starliner's propulsion system and its ability to maintain a stable internal environment could not be ignored. The propulsion system, critical for the spacecraft's maneuverability, was showing signs of instability. 
One of the most pressing concerns involved the spacecraft's helium system. This system, essential for the proper functioning of the fuel tanks, was exhibiting troubling signs. Helium, used to pressurize the Starliner's fuel tanks, was found to be leaking at an alarming rate. This leak posed a significant risk as it could compromise the integrity of the fuel system. This leak, if left unaddressed, could have catastrophic consequences during launch or re-entry, potentially jeopardizing the lives of the astronauts on board. The safety of the crew was paramount and every effort was being made to address the issue. Adding to the complexity of the situation were concerns about the Starliner's propulsion system. The thrusters, vital for the spacecraft's navigation and control, were not performing as expected. Engineers identified inconsistencies in the performance of the spacecraft's thrusters, the engines responsible for maneuvering the Starliner in space. These inconsistencies could lead to unpredictable behavior during critical phases of the mission. These inconsistencies, if not resolved, could lead to deviations in trajectory, making a safe docking with the ISS or a controlled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere impossible. The stakes were high, and the pressure was on to find solutions before the next scheduled launch. With the Starliner grounded and Sunita Williams's return date uncertain, NASA turned to a familiar partner, SpaceX. Elon Musk's private spaceflight company had already proven itself a reliable partner, successfully developing and operating the Dragon capsule, a spacecraft capable of safely transporting astronauts to and from the ISS. The Dragon, unlike the troubled Starliner, had a string of successful missions under its belt. It had become a workhorse for NASA, ferrying cargo and astronauts to and from the ISS with remarkable precision and reliability. Its safety record was impeccable, a testament to the ingenuity and dedication of SpaceX's engineers. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, SpaceX stepped up to the plate, offering its Dragon capsule as a lifeline for Williams and Will Moore. The company, known for its rapid innovation and ability to adapt to changing circumstances, quickly adjusted its mission schedule to accommodate the stranded astronauts. The decision to utilize SpaceX's Dragon capsule was not made lightly. It underscored the importance of astronaut safety, a non-negotiable priority for NASA. In the face of uncertainty and technical challenges, NASA chose the spacecraft with the proven track record, the one that offered the highest probability of a safe return for Williams and Wilmore. The technical issues plaguing Boeing's Starliner were complex and multifaceted, demanding a thorough investigation and a comprehensive solution. These problems were not just minor inconveniences, but significant hurdles that could jeopardize the entire mission. Engineers worked tirelessly to pinpoint the root cause of the problems, analyzing data, running simulations, and conducting rigorous tests. Their dedication was unwavering as they knew the stakes were incredibly high. The helium leaks, a major concern, were traced back to a faulty valve within the spacecraft's propulsion system. This discovery was a breakthrough but it was only the beginning of a long journey to resolution. This valve, responsible for regulating the flow of helium, was found to be prone to leaks, potentially compromising the Starliner's ability to maintain proper fuel pressure during critical maneuvers. The implications of this were far-reaching, affecting the spacecraft's overall performance. The propulsion system inconsistencies equally troubling were attributed to a software glitch that affected the timing and duration of thruster firings. This glitch, though seemingly minor, had the potential to cause catastrophic failures. This glitch, while seemingly minor, could have significant consequences, leading to deviations in trajectory and jeopardizing the spacecraft's ability to dock with the ISS or re-enter Earth's atmosphere safely. The margin for error in spaceflight is razor thin, and even the smallest issue can have dramatic effects. Boeing, faced with these daunting challenges, launched a comprehensive effort to rectify the Starliner's technical shortcomings. This was a massive undertaking requiring coordination and collaboration across multiple teams and disciplines. Engineers redesigned the faulty valve, implementing rigorous testing protocols to ensure its reliability. This redesign was not just a quick fix, but a complete overhaul to prevent future issues. Software engineers, meanwhile, worked tirelessly to identify and correct the propulsion system glitch, running countless simulations to verify the effectiveness of their solution. 
Each simulation brought them one step closer to a reliable and safe spacecraft. The process was painstakingly slow, a stark reminder of the complexity of spaceflight and the unforgiving nature of the environment in which these spacecraft operate. Every test, every adjustment was crucial to ensuring the Starliner's success. Every component, every line of code had to be perfect. Lives were at stake. The meticulous attention to detail and relentless pursuit of perfection were non-negotiable as the safety of the astronauts and the success of the mission depended on it. As Boeing worked feverishly to resolve the Starliner's technical issues, NASA faced a difficult decision. The agency, tasked with ensuring the safety of its astronauts, had to weigh the risks of using the unproven Starliner against the delays associated with utilizing SpaceX's Dragon capsule. The decision was further complicated by the fact that Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were not the only astronauts awaiting transport. Other crews were scheduled to launch to the ISS, their missions dependent on the availability of a reliable spacecraft. Every delay had a ripple effect, impacting research schedules and potentially jeopardizing critical experiments. Ultimately, however, NASA remained steadfast in its commitment to astronaut safety. The agency, recognizing the inherent risks of space travel, refused to compromise on this fundamental principle. The Starliner, despite Boeing's best efforts, remained an unknown quantity, its reliability still in question. The Dragon capsule, on the other hand, had a proven track record. It had demonstrated its ability to safely transport astronauts to and from the ISS time and time again. Its systems were robust, 